What's up, douchebag? What's up, douchebags? Remember when I was saying like a while back how like the whole point of like, look. <coughs> Ew, the Mucinex is really working. The Mucinex with cayenne pepper. Holy shit. Anyways. Um, God damn it. I'm going to get my hair cut. I found out that I had a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch, but like a, like a thousand dollars worth of, um, um, uh, one of the things that Levita, Levita, I'm going to sell it and use that for shit and whatnot to do some, I'm waiting for it to finish on staking. I forgot I had all that Levita. I'm like, holy shit. Anyways, um, one more reason why I can't wait to get back to doing all that crypto investing and mining now that all this horfity bullshit is finally done. But um, I swear to God, she's doing shit on purpose just to get me, get me mad. And like, I don't think people in Korea even know what I'm saying. I think they just like are associating my picture with that stupid whore and her stupid whore group and that stupid whore Hyani pick. And I just don't. I'm, this is the whole point of having an independent channel because like YouTube used to be like just people could upload anything and it was awesome. And then Google bought it and it started being censored. And then they got rid of that stupid hag who used to run it and now it's like one gigantic infomercial but i'm pivoting i'm pivoting because also i found like i had frozen a whole bunch of shrimp from like a while back i think before i went to korea i was like in case things do go bad i'm gonna buy a whole bunch of meat and shrimp and freeze it and i forgot that i had frozen it and i found it so i don't have to go to the store for a while except for like you know something to drink but now I see why everyone drinks tea so much because all the Asian pitches I've ever met were always super into tea. Because it's like drinking something other than water, but you don't have to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of shit like Red Bull and whatnot. But dude, so like this is what I'm saying. All these influencers, they last for only about five years. Yeah, I closed one of the windows. It's getting cold. I'm going to have to turn the heat on soon. But um. It's a good thing I'm going back to the office so I can afford all that bullshit. But, uh, um, yeah, no, like when you start making money, like if you can make money off your YouTube channel, good for you. If you're in a position where like you have to do the infomercials every short and all that bullshit and everyone subscribe to my channel and all that bullshit, fine. I get it. You know, like it's better than, you know, being a janitor, but janitor's still good, honest work. not going to lie. And I was a janitor before. Um, you have to be careful because like when I, was, I used to work for a tap agency and like one time it's like I took a janitor job because it was the only job they had available and it paid like eight fifty, and then uh the next week I did a catering job that paid eight seventy five, and then like the week after that they were like both places liked your work ethic so much which one do you want to work and I was like obviously the one paying eight seventy five, and she was like no one wants to do the janitorial one could you please do it for me and I was like they literally pay more will you pay like, if you pay me more I'll do the other one she's like no the contract is only eight fifty, what the fuck you want me to do anyways, that was like two thousand six two thousand seven that's how much inflation has hit by the way, um, but no. Sure, if you want to throw money at me, maybe one of these days I'll put links in the description for all my Bitcoin addresses. I'd rather not do that because then if you get rich that way or if you get well off that way, people are going to be able to be like, oh, well, it's because of me and all that bullshit. But if I just work regular jobs and I invest in all that bullshit, even with that stupid whore being a fucking thief and a whore, I still did it on my own and all that cicada bullshit. But anyways, dude, no, I just maybe I'll play Final Fantasy later. I don't know. And then I'll finish up uploading that. But I have all these AI thingies I've been using. I'm like, what does it say right now? Haha, -ha, I'm making a script. I should be doing this with hacking shit, but I was like such a Stargate nerd. Stargate lore script ideas. The top 10 most powerful races in the Stargate universe, chapter 1. The Gua'uld. The Gua'uld are one of the most iconic and dangerous threats in the Stargate universe. we got to spice this up. This is boring. i got to find a way to spice it up.
end of chapter one. Maybe I'll put it, like, what I do is I don't even edit it in a notepad, but maybe I'll start doing that because it's about Stargate. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to talk about all the Stargate theories, and I'll have the AI do it so I can just copy and paste it. It's going to be awesome. You can just do anything you want to on your own channel. I don't give a fuck about the views. Sure, if you want, like, all, all of my views are just because I posted that one um, clip from uh, that Charles Bronson movie, which is also super awesome. But you know, just, I just want to make some Stargate shit. I've, I was watching like Stargate shit for like two or three days, and all the videos are like from three or four years old at the earliest. I'm like, I'm going to revive Stargate. I'm going to start talking about Stargate for a little bit. Stargate was the best. Stargate was so awesome. God, that, was just, that was way before any K-pop bullshit was fucking fooling around. I did think all the Asian bitches in Stargate were hot. And I thought Taylor looked a little bit Asian-y. Like, I guess they're Eskimo bitches, but, like, in Atlantis, like, towards the end, they all start, like, hooking up, and there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, Eskimo-looking type Asian bitches and shit like that. Back when Asian bitches were smart, now they're all stupid rap whores who get pimped out to do smut scenes because some stupid old decrepit whore named Hyani Pick is profiting off of it. <clears throat> so fucking bullshit. I'm gonna go make shrimp fried rice with fucking... Italian spicy sausage, and I'm almost done with all the weevil rice. Uh, luckily, there's very few weevils in it because I've been storing it correctly, but goddamn. Stargate! Stargate! Everything but Stargate Universe, that one totally sucked. I, I actually almost didn't take the power plant job, believe it or not, because I was going to not be able to watch Stargate Universe, and then I realized how shitty it was. I'll go deal with that. Peace out.